Hi, my name is MK1 Jeffrey Reppin. I'm with the Engineering System School Fast Response Cutter staff at Training Center Yorktown. This video will cover the removal and replacement of the MTU 20B 4000 M93L raw water pump. The MPC that coincides with this task is Alpha 51201.d. This task will normally be performed as part of a 6,000 hour QO3 maintenance or as a corrective maintenance upon failure. This video is for familiarization with the task and shall not take the place of official procedures promulgated by a patrol board product line. Ensure you follow all safety guidelines outlined in the maintenance procedure card. Now let's cover the tools you'll need. Half inch drive torque wrench, magnet, three eighths drive torque wrench, 18 millimeter stall woolly head, 27 millimeter combination wrench, 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench, 18 millimeter combination wrench, 16 millimeter ratcheting wrench, scribe, crescent wrench, half inch drive socket wrench, 3 8 drive socket wrench, 3 8 drive long extension, 28 millimeter socket half inch drive, 19 millimeter socket half inch drive, 18 millimeter socket half inch drive, 18 millimeter socket 3 8 drive, 16 millimeter socket 3 8 drive, 18 millimeter socket swivel head, and for consumables, Hockaform 3015. If performing this task on the port engine, the Raycor filter assembly must be removed first. CMPC M4 1048.0. O. For draining procedures, follow maintenance procedures listed in MPC Alpha 51201.D for removal. We'll cover the procedures for the starboard engine. All right, let's get started. Remove the intake air manifold section for cylinders B9 and B10. Remove the four M10 attaching bolts with a 16 millimeter socket wrench. Remove the clips on the cable bracket and gently remove the cables from the bracket on the bottom side of the intake section. Take care not to damage the injector connector at the cylinder head. Gently rotate and remove the intake air manifold section out of the way and set aside. Disconnect the raw water pressure sensor connector at the pump housing. Remove the bolts that connect the bellows and the piping elbow. Remove the piping elbow from the raw water pump inlet elbow. Remove the four bolts that connect the raw water inlet elbow to the pump and then remove the inlet elbow. The inlet elbow to piping elbow gasket can often be reused. Remove the raw water pressure sensor. Remove the bolts that connect the pump discharge housing to the raw water pump. It will be necessary to tie some line to the discharge housing to support the discharge housing when the pump is removed. Remove the three pump attaching bolts. Remove the raw water pump from the engine and discard all used O-rings. Coat all new O-rings with Cluth Hacuform 3015. Insert O-rings into the grooves on the gear drive and discharge side of the raw water pump. Discard the old inlet elbow O-ring and install a new O-ring in the inlet elbow. It is important to refer to the current maintenance procedure card or technical publication for tightening specifications and tolerances. These change from time to time by the manufacturer or other authority. With the help of a shipmate, carefully insert the raw water pump 
onto the engine, making sure to align the gears and seat flush against the engine. Reinstall the pump attaching bolts. It may be necessary to use a magnet for the hard to reach locations. Tighten all the attaching bolts to specified torque. Attach the discharge elbow, taking care to make sure that the O-ring stays in place. Tighten the discharge elbow hardware to specified torque. Using four bolts, install the inlet elbow. Tighten the bolts to specified torque. Ensure the gasket is in place and using two clamps, install the piping elbow to the pump inlet elbow. Tighten bolts to specified torque. Install the raw water pressure sensor hand tight. Then tighten with wrench. Connect the raw water pressure sensor connector. Reinstall the piping elbow to expansion joint hardware and tighten to specified torque. Remove the old intake manifold o-ring. Install a new intake manifold o-ring and install two new gaskets for cylinders B9 and B10 inlet. Ensure you have these in the correct position. Carefully Install the intake air manifold segment. This can be a bit challenging to get in place. Take care not to damage the injector cabling and or thermocouple cabling. Install the four M10 bolts into the intake manifold segment. Align them with the cylinder head holes and be sure you've got the side with the clamp on correctly. Torque the four M10 bolts to specified torque value. Install the cabling and bracket interferences that were previously removed under the intake air manifold section. Don't forget to install the clips. If task was performed on the port engine, the Raycor filter assembly must be installed. Refer to MPC A5120 201.d for procedures. Once all installation is complete, conduct a performance test to make sure repairs were successful.